Alright. Welcome, guys, to my let's play of Dead Horizon, the demo. So, I stumbled onto this because I decided to stare awkwardly at itch.io's Twitter account and they were advertising like a variety of demos that got released and so on and so forth. And this one popped in my lovely feed and I'm like, I like the pixel artwork. As you guys can tell, I'm a very big sucker for pixel artwork. It's just fantastic. Um, and the mechanics of this game, I was really like, I'm interested, I'm intrigued. I would like to try this demo out, please, thank you. And well, here we are. So this one is like, um, I wanna say a point and shooter? Kind of screams that. Um, but let's just get into it. Um, as usual, let's quickly check the settings. Also, I noticed the mouse is, I'm assuming it's intentional, but it's pretty slow. And I'm assuming that's intentional for the game. Um, it's funny, cause like I complain about like, what is it? Uh, Tex Murphy under Killing Moon being like super fast mouse speed. And this game is like the opposite. It's slow mouse speed. Uh, okay, clicking more. I thought it would be options. No, it just takes you to the, the page. Never mind. Okay, let's just hit new game. It's too darn late to get out of the way. It's been too darn late for a very long time. Oh, now I can get run over. Ah. Uh, whiskey dreams. No good for anyone. Mmm, whiskey. Sorry, I like whiskey. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. Okay, so let's examine. Ma used to say that men had guns and women had mirrors and makeup. Oh, barf. <laughs> uh, let's examine this photo. That's a photo of me when I didn't even come up to my pa's britches. Let's pick it up. Uh, we got an inventory. Uh, I'm looking at the mirror. Sometimes she replaced mirror for perfume or makeup for a Oh, hello. Who are you? Bonnie, you're up and about looking like a drunk chicken, but I take it. Uh, sir, chickens don't get drunk. I mean, if they eat... Um, I shouldn't say that. I imagine if they eat enough rotten... Or not rotten, like fermented apples, they would? Yeah. Oh, it, it would be pretty funny. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, I'm hungover, not drunk. Five more minutes. Ah, my head. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, that sounds about right. Drink this so your alcohol fanny doesn't wing someone. But give it back when you're done. I don't want to face those crowds sober. Okay, that's my inventory. So I don't need it. This is your usual piss. Thanks. Let's be nice. Let's say thanks. Thank me by hurrying up and getting out there. Okay, so we drink. All right, give me my bottle back. Uh, examine? Only one good swig left in this, better than nothing. So how do I give you? Oh, okay, ask for a fridge, give whiskey. We don't got till the end of time. Yes, we do. We have a while. Uh, ask for the fridge. The key, I'd rather give you a keg of gunpowder with a lit fuse than give you the key. Okay. Oh, gave him the whiskey. It makes life bearable, but makes us unbearable. Gotta love it. Here. Oh. You don't even have your iron strapped on, Bonnie. You lose your head if it wasn't attached. Get over to the big top soon. I can't keep them entertained by my lonesome for long. She can. Do some really good puns. I believe in you. I'm gonna examine everything. And commentate on it. Like a let's player. One of them fancy stools, the kind with the lever that lets you adjust the height. Oh, speak, can we adjust the height? I like to sit on it and then pull the lever and drop while spinning. Can we do that? I especially take a shine to it when I've been drinking. Oh god, I, that's barftastic. Okay, so there's actually multiple dialogues. Uh, so I'm looking at the mirror. Uh, she used to sit in front of her vanity for hours, 100 brushes every night. Ugh. Her hair was long enough that it trailed on the floor. If she didn't braid it, it was beautiful. 
It was her whole life. Ma was a fool. Uh, examine. In there, a comb, some hairspray, and perfume. The stuff in here is more important to my job than my iron. I don't like this drawer. Okay, let's search it. Oh! An old hairpin, long, straight, stiff, keys. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Screw a key. Uh, found one of my extra hairpins. Takes a few to keep my unruly hair tamed. Um, the only thing in here is lots of more empty beer cans stuffed outside. I said that set word proper. Everything in that sentence proper. <laughs> uh, it smells terrible in there, so I stopped opening it. Ooh, oh god. Uh, examine. Beer always gives me a headache. Let's go look at the beer can again. Maybe that's why I keep drinking it? I don't even like it hit that's Winston's brand uh, see I'm not a fan of like I okay I, I do back long time ago before potato I would drink beer but not like your typical like Budweiser and that I've, I've discovered like my beer palate likes the really strong stuff everything else just tastes disgusting but like your strong IPAs I'm like that's tasty my taste buds are so messed up all right, let's pick it up. Uh, let's awkwardly stare at the fridge. The mini fridge, that's where I normally keep my booze. It's a luxury and I have to replace the compressor every few months, but a chill drink is one of the only reasons to keep civilization. I've had this thing for over two years. It's held up well. Okay, let's look at the lock. Someone locked my fridge. Probably Winston. He must have put that on my fridge when I passed out. Bastard, I still got some whiskey in there. I could probably jimmy the lock if I had the right tool, which we do. If I could find the keys somewhere, I could get in there, or something to just jimmy the lock with, or hell, if I'm really desperate, I could shoot the damn thing. Okay, we have the pair of pins, so let's use it. There, haha, -ha, take that. Looks like I ruined another rug last night. Oh wait, was that, when did I spill that? Was that yesterday? Sorry, I guess looking at the lock, more so looks at the carpet. Or was that last week? Okay, so let's search the fridge. Oh, there we go. Uh, examine. Only one good swig left in this better than nothing. Same dialogue. Let's pick up the whiskey, I'm assuming? Okay. Uh, examine. Varmint whiskey. Terrible, but only up until you can't taste it anymore. Very, very empty. This bottle's practically licked clean. Okay, let's pick up the bottle. Uh, let's examine this. I told the store owner I wanted their strongest drink. They gave me grape juice. Oh, it's grape juice. How grateful. They're probably still laughing. And real lucky, I'm not as young as I once was. Next time Winston wants to sit up in a dry town, maybe I'd rather just go walking through the waste. Okay. What else can I... This is a lot of stuff I can examine in this tiny area. Uh, the light, uh, electric lighting. Winston treats us real well for the devillions. The janitor goes out once a week, but it sure kicks the stuffing out of lamp lights. That Bob is probably about to go. Okay, uh, let's go get the coat hanger. You can judge a man based on how many hooks he has and how many he bothers using. I only use about half of mine. So I guess I'm half a man. Ha. Alright. Uh, the poncho. A good poncho. It's a lot easier to trust than a good man. Uh, easier to find, too. I don't know if I'm feeling green today. Uh, Alright, let's examine this stuff and then we'll get out of here. So, the flask. Empty and thus useless. Silver. Basically useless except for how resistant it is to the dust. I should get this filled up next chance I get. Okay, let's look at the books. Winston brought them over Boyd's Adventure magazines. One of these have an interview with me I don't remember giving, but has enough cussing to make them think it's above board. Stories about outlaws and shootists written by men who probably have never even held a gun. Okay. Uh, the bullet. A single bullet sitting out on my desk. I don't remember putting it there, but I don't remember much about last night. Bullet's a bullet. Shouldn't let it go to waste. Okay, same dialogue. Let's pick it up. Oh, oh cool. It's actually in 
uh, there. Oh, I had options. Oh, I could shoot the fridge. Or find... Oh, I had all oh, those three choices actually were choices. Interesting. I could have shot the fridge. Okay. Uh, choose a dirty trick. I didn't realize this town was dry tight. Already gone back. What kind of place serves someone ju juice instead of booze? I mean, grape juice does sound fantastic. Um, let's go get this poster and I guess we're out of here. Uh, oh, that's her. Uh, that's me, Bonnie Star, Daring Dead Eye. Been a part of Winston's Wargs Galloping Frontier for almost four years now. I never even posed for this. It's a painting Winston had commissioned based on some book cover someone did. Looks like an added leaded, added, oh my goodness, words. A lid headed goon. I shouldn't complain, the money is good, and all I gotta do is fire off a few rounds every few days for a few yorkles. Working look, and then we pack up, move to a new city, and do it again and again and again. Crowds cheering every time I spit a I split a plate with a bullet, like it means something, like it matters, forgetting their tiny little dust ridden lies for a moment, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is they always ask me to do the pose. Oh, that pose. Oh, I guess. All right. Um, oh, we're already going there. Okay. Winston's waiting in the big top. I shouldn't keep him waiting. I mean, we've waited. I think we kept him waiting long enough. Oh, oh well, Daleks keep continuing going. Uh, probably supposed to have started ten or, or so mo so minutes ago. I didn't get the previous dialogue, but there's a dude just staring at me. Uh, dressing room. Uh, let's go to the employees only sign. The sign really works very well. Like this joker in the red jacket, he clearly doesn't work for the Rough Riders. Uh, uh, he's a he's a good he's a sheriff from the looks of it. Uh, tent stakes, big, long, and iron. Gotta go deep in the shifting sands, and iron tends to break down slow. Sometimes kids run back here and pull them on pull on them good. Thing they're nailed down deep. Okay, uh, let's look at this. Oh, we can shake it. Uh, Tacky, I brought this eyesore back here out of view. I got sick of watching townies pretending to be me. Oh, it's her. That's funny. The paint job needs touched up. Okay, let's shake it. Okay, that's, that's pretty fun. Uh, examine the plant life. Lots of plants that take the dust better than people. Dry, ugly, and short, but gotta respect their grit. Okay. Sorry, guy. I know you're staring at me, but we're just checking everything else, else out first. I can say words. Uh, the skull is a fake. It's a fake. Not a real skull. Plaster or something. Winston puts them and other artifacts all around the camp for atmosphere. Huh? The dust breaks them down fairly quick. Winston tends to just leave them behind. I bet you they make good souvenirs. It's a Warwick skull. Of course, what else would it be? Okay. I can examine a bunch of things still. So we're gonna... Sorry, guy. I'm gonna keep staring at everything else except you. The sign. Uh, looks like the locals use this as target practice. Always nervous about a town that shoots up its own sign. Oh, wait. No. That was me. <laughs> Oops. I put those holes there in that sign last week when I was on a tizzy, as Winston would say. Well, that's nice. How, how nice of you. Uh, let's look at this tent. The little top, mostly for personal meet and greets. Ronald and Carl are probably in there signing autographs. Kinda looks like an outhouse. It ain't, but it does kinda look like it. Uh, a tree. Mango dead, but it will probably outlive me and every other man, woman, and child on this planet. Tuffle trees are just all about that's left on this dust bowl. Okay, uh, the scenery. Clear skies today. Wind seems to have died down finally. Those clouds always mock, but never rain. Clear skies. Okay, the tent, and then we'll look at the guy. The big top, where the magic happens. That there is the main tent where I need to go do my shoot -a show. Always hated the colors. Looks like a fat woman oversized skirt. Huh. Alright, let's go get you. A red star. A bounty hunter. 
He's not here for me or else we'd already be slapping leather. Looks like he cares about his hair. Actually, yeah, he's got a very, like, Gary Oak hairstyle going. <laughs> also looks like he dresses to match that pretty rare red dustless star of his. Don't like the red stars. Me and them have never really gotten along. Might have ki killed a few. I can speak words. I'm sorry, guys. Words are fantastic today. Uh, they might have not liked that. Haven't had anyone after me in years, but red stars have long memories, and I hear the bounty is still technically up. He twirls that iron like someone's born with it. Uh, better watch myself around him. Uh, okay, so let's talk to him. Uh, so, Miss Star, if you have a moment. Uh, what do you want? I don't have business with the red stars. I'm late to my show. Let's go this one. We don't have business with him. Oh, and why is that? Oh, oh, his face changed. Uh, uh, no bounty on me as far as I know. Not anyone. I don't like red stars. Last time to go so well. This one? Yeah, let's go for the first one. Actually, there is technically speaking an outstanding bounty. Still for what went down a few years ago. Oops. You know, when you killed four red stars, just doing their jobs. Red stars don't forgive or forget when someone kills their own. I mean, she did mention that earlier. That was a long time ago. They got my way. Are we going to have trouble? Let's go number three. I feel like there may be trouble. Maybe make it double. <laughs> Only if you start it. This will take just a moment. I'm looking for this man. Oh, he's got quite the bounty and I aim to collect. And you know what they say about the bounty hunter gig. It pays to be good, but it pays better to be first. Okay, i never seen him. I don't like red stars. What did he do? Uh, let me awkwardly stare at it. Oh. What did he do? That's, that's the good question for this. Doesn't look much like a criminal. No, he doesn't. Glasses. Those must fall apart on him all the time. Strange it doesn't have a name. Okay, what did he do? Not really the kind of thing I keep track of. Alright, give it back. No, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna throw it on the ground. Eh. Oh, just one more thing. What? A little fittering, feathering thing like you really killed five men. Um, let's give him his poster. Thanks. Uh, oh, the dialogue just disappeared. Oh, okay. I, okay. I guess, I guess I can't answer your question. I'm just gonna nod and agree. Or shrug my shoulders. Let's shrug our shoulders. I just did it. All right. Let's, let's go. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you the most feared female shooters to the side of the sunken desert. Oh, I'm gonna suck at this. <laughs> The daring dead eye, Bonnie the Star. Yay! Okay, Bonnie, let's give him a show. Take it easy and just try to shoot straight, all right? Oh my goodness, the, the pixel artwork in this and the animation is really good. I like the fact that, you know. Oh, there's a bear! There's a bear in the. There's a bear in the audience. It kind of screams maybe a particular, like. I mean, I hate to say a FNAF character, but like. Fred Bear, Golden, whatever, Golden Fred Bear and all them. The, the, the design has now been implemented that you see a bear. You know, people's brains may go to that right, right away. All at the same time, there's one right here. Oh, right, nope. Okay, fine. Go away, inventory. All right. I think I'm good. I need ammo. What do I do again? Uh, I need ammo. Ooh, 32. Here, this should be enough to play around with. Nice. Wait, what? Boo! The audience is looking for a show, not a gangly girl looking at me with fish eyes. Hurry up. But I wanted ammo. So, Bonnie, are you ready now? Yes. I think I'm good. Yeah, I can hit any targets if you don't load any... I can hit any target? 
Two little bullets into the cylinder. Press the right stick downwards. So, Bonnie, are you ready? Okay, I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, 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 you gotta... Oh, no! Oh, God. First camera. No. Ah. Oh my goodness. Give, give me a couple seconds. I'm multitasking here. Yeah. That's the daring dead eye I remember. We got through that without you shooting me. Good. Want another or good on? Ooh. Can, can we shoot you? I'm gonna be evil. Give me a second. Let's let's just shoot a couple. Oh! Winston was rushed to the dock, cursing me the whole way. Don't know why I did it, other than maybe he called me a drunk one too many times. Oops. Okay, there's actually consequences. <gasps> oh my god, there's actual consequences. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to do... I, I just thought it would be like, oof. Let's continue. Not oof. You're in jail. Oh no. <laughs> oops. Ah. Uh, oops. 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 Ah, uh, hard as a rock. Has a sheath though. Oops. A uh, tool on a little desk, really putting on the airs. Um. Okay. Oh. There's a. Metal file. Ain't sure what the file surface is made of, but I'll shave through most metals with a little elbow grease and a bit of time. Okay. I'm assuming it's gonna be for this. Bars over glass. Keep the dust and criminals out. Uh... Yeah, let's go out. Oh. Winston's posted your bail, so you're free to go, it seems. I'd have... I'd have let you rot in jail, but he said something about how no woman should have to go through such an indignity. You know, in that voice of his. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, well, don't that beat all? Look at that. The lamp is patched into the steam plant. Light like this is a luxury in most places. Uh, hooks for hanging things, hats, keys, just about anything but people, really. I do see keys. We can't, we can't grab the keys. Uh, examine the desk. One of them desks I keep hearing about. This one's even comes with a deputy. Uh, let's examine you. Kind of cute, in that wet behind the ears way. Can we talk to you? So you need something? Uh, yeah. Can you do a trick? No, not really. My, uh, this one. Can I do a trick? Well, I was about to kiss a commie lass before you woke me up out of my dream. That would have been a good trick. Okay, I guess not. Okay, I guess we need to leave. And, yeah. Oh, wow. Like, really good sprite work. I will say that. Um, examine. Good old pot belly stove. Squat, warm, simple, burn something. Room gets hot. I used to sit in front of one of these for hours. I'd roast everything. The smoke would give hard tack some flavor. The flavor was smoke, but anything is better than hard tack. My pa had one of these in the cooler, colder days. I had to keep it lit. When it go out, I'd get a whooping. I only love it, let it out a few times. You learn quick, but it wasn't a cause of the beatings. Got so cold one night, I woke up and I could barely move. Mom had to wrap me up in all my clothes, and Pa and her laid with me. My left foot still ached sometimes. Pa didn't even beat me that time. Never let it go out on a cold day again. Okay. Uh, the sheriff's desk a lot sturdier than the other one. Okay. 
Sheriff's desk has a big old sheriff star on it. No one's going to claim Tumbleweed is a subtle town. I wonder if it's just gold paint or actual dustless metal. Uh, no one's going to make the stake. This is the sheriff's desk. Okay, the same thing. Uh, let's look at the board. Notices wanted posters and ordinances. German six shot Sam, 200 brass, who brought in alive. So brass for any proven water poacher brought to justice. Deputies wanted must bring own gun, must shoot straight. The last part is the hard part. The Salvador water bros, 50 brass individually, 400 together. Guess they're worth more than the mat as a matching set. Someone tagged a business card up here. Ask for Windy if you ever dowsing at the last shot. Has a lipstick stain on it. Grand the Crimson Raid Stunner, 270 brass, dead or alive. Looks like this one's an updated update the poster. Under it says 200 and it doesn't mention dead. Anyone traveling through Tumbleweed with guns must check in with a local sheriff. Seems pointless to have this up in the sheriff's office. Oh, that's a lot of flyers. <laughs> Missing Tommy Olfent. Kind of brass or information. Probably paid for by the family. That's a lot of money. Odds are he's long gone. That's all of them. Nothing else up here but corkboard. Okay. There's a sign that reads notice board and community information. Despite what this says, this mostly seems to be bounties on the board below it. Okay, uh, there was a book on the desk and I think some paper we can look at. I think we can get out of here. A book of rules and regulations. Some of them are underlined. The underlying law appears to be a duplicated on some of the other papers. Looks like there's been an update to the law registry recently. Regulations can be hard to enforce, but the sheriff looked like a hard man. One that's underlined twice is the prohibition law. No spirits, booze, or other alcohol products will be sold in Tumbleweed Township proper. Clearly a draconic town. Um, what is it? Oh, shoot. I don't remember it exactly. So, pardon me. I'm going on a Paul ramble. But, um, first and foremost, I'm Canadian. A, um, I live in, you know, the good old province of Alberta. Question mark on the good part. <laughs> So I used to live in like the southern part of Alberta. Um, now I can't remember if it's correct and I may be wrong. This may be like I post the wiki link to said town, but there's a town called Tabor. And they're very like uh, Mormon heavy, if I remember correctly. Like uh, the liquor stores have a lot of problems though. Like they're only allowed to be open uh, within a certain amount of hours. And I think any, any alcohol like sold is heavily regulated like you can't like you know no drinking like I'm not saying no drinking but like there is a lot of rules towards um, alcohol and such I may I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll find a link about that in like Tabor's Wikipedia or, or the city of Tabor but I'm just posting that as a ramble also Tabor has some excellent corn I will say that it's a very sweet corn I think. I'm trying to remember. It's been ages since I've had Tabor corn. Anywho, pa ramble over. <laughs> I ramble. Sorry. Um, okay. What else? A book of local laws, some handwritten notes. Okay, that's it. Okay, pa ramble's done. Let's get out of here. Uh, town center. Well, I think I need a drink. The can's basically out of booze. There has to be somewhere I can get a drink in town. Oh my goodness. Hey. Hold it for a moment. I need to lay down some ground rules. Oh, you're the sheriff. Oh my goodness, the artwork is just mm, fantastic. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> Alright, examine you. I said hold in time. I'm getting there. Can I just marvel at the artwork? Can't I? Can't I? Okay, let's examine you. You can tell us the sheriff before you run out. Okay, give me a second. Uh, sheriff's office because of the big star on the door. Fancy. Of course, the star ain't real gold, it's just paint. The painted star started to chip a little, not gonna be a star much longer. So technically I had a bounty in my head, even if it hasn't been reissued in many years. Best is here clear in any case. Oh, that's a funny. Okay, let's talk to you. Oh yeah, you wanna talk now. Had your chance, just keep your nose clean. What? I'm staring awkwardly at you. 
Can I not stare awkwardly at you? You jerk. Uh, whoever owns that building sure is superstitious. Haven't seen a horseshoe on a door in quite a spell. Whoever owns the building, do 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 do. Uh, we can go Main Street, Sheriff's Office, examine Edge of Town. Okay. Uh, Last Shot Saloon, iconic name for a dry town. Glass doors around saloon style wood, cute. Shouldn't be able to call yourself a saloon if you don't serve whiskey. This whole town is crazy. Okay, can I go back? Let's go back to the main street. Oh, we can't. Oh, my. Oh, wow. But Bonnie. Oh, it's the girl from the show. I, I saw your show was great until uh, the accident. Uh, what accident? Uh, let's examine. That girl's from the show. She's still looking at me like I'm up on stage. Let's talk to her. I cannot believe I'm talking to the Bonnie Star. Uh, I'm not the. Glad you like the show. Uh, let's be nice. Not so much the part where you shot that guy. Uh, why didn't know there'd be consequences? Why did you shoot Winston anyways? I didn't know there'd be consequences in this game. Or in this demo. I, I did not know. I was never intended. Well, okay, I was intended to originally, but then curiosity got the better of me. And then I was like, let's just try. I don't think there's going to be consequences. There was consequences. I apologize. <laughs> Hand slipped. <laughs> Oh, oh. I was I was hoping to, to ask you something. I came a long way. Oh my goodness, I love the artwork. I love the clouds. I love how the clouds are moving. Like just that art design. Like it's it's like it's, it's such it's and especially on like the, the, the gradient background, I really like that. Like if I could have an animated background of just that, that'd be really fun. Like I really like that. Sorry, I'm I'm just like I'm 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 really liking the details and the colors and I'm 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 a little I'm a little you know doing the budgie head bob gushing over all the the pixel work. <laughs> uh, ask it, you know I get bothered a lot. Go home to your mom. Uh, ask it. I I want to ask you if I wanted to be a shootist. What but what should I do? Don't drink. That's my answer. Learn to have better goals. Learn to handle a gun. Learn to ignore everyone else. Uh, this one. And don't drink. I, I know how to handle a gun. Handle it so well, no one can ever take it away from you. You look like you barely know what a trigger guard is. Uh, this one. Wow, that's, um, I, I mean, I'll, I'll try. Oh, stop pestering you now. I mean, you're not really pestering. Keep your nose clean. Glad give everyone who doubts you hell. Yeah, that one. Let's see, see ya, Bonnie. Okay, I do see a vending machine, which is weird. Someone took the frustration out on the vending machine. I bet you a toonie was Bonnie. Or two dollars. Looks like the sand gone inside, and that's all she wrote. No way to fix it. This busted hunk would never replace and tumbleweeds isn't the kind of town to get things replaced in. I doubt there's any casing left in this hunk. Let's shake it. Shake it. Still nothing. Shake it. Oh my goodness, look at the animation. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Throw it to the ground. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Pac-Man Adventure. Oh, oh, oh. I did it. <laughs> I did it. A few stray casings came out. My lucky day. I did a thing. <laughs> Let's keep shaking it. I I, I noticed the glass uh, also um, kind of stretched out a bit further. I forget the term uh, for when a glass like oh cracks oh cracks travels. I I may need a bit you know a a little bit of a nap an eight hour nap. <laughs> uh, Okay, there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot to examine. If I want to examine everything, I think we'll be here for hours. So let's um, let's just kind of go through the gist. A lot of this I'm going to save for when the game actually comes out, because I think I definitely want to play this. Ooh, ooh, spooky back alley. Oh, spooky back alley. So that leads to the saloon. 
Uh, let's go... Oh, Tumbleweed may be a dry town, but there has to be somewhere that has a real drink. Oh, did I... Oh, does it just take me back to the saloon? Oh, nope, I can look. I can keep looking. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to look at. The next train is until 30 or 310. Okay, that's that's great, but like I'm I'm just gonna look. Oh my goodness. There's so much content to look at. I'm gonna just keep I we're just gonna I'm I'm not gonna stare at everything because there's so much stuff to stare at. Holy pickles, this demo has a lot of stuff to look at. Like holy pickle Oh the sheriff's gone. Okay. Where did he go? Um. Oh, I need to find a real drink somewhere. I'm gonna lose my mind. So what if I don't? What if we just... Oh, he's back! What if I just... Oh, I don't think... I don't think she's... I don't want the shakes today. I need a drink. Interesting. Okay. So, nothing. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try getting into the saloon. Uh, let's examine things now. Uh, just an old man drinking a pop. Though, now that I take another gander, he seems might out of sorts for just drinking pop. Could just be me assuming things. The sun's making us all a bit sleepy, or it could be he's boozing. He's probably half as old as he looks. The sand and the sun takes a hell of a toll on you. Okay, well, let's talk to him. You need something, miss? Apparently a drink. Uh, what's in the bottle? Ask me about that again when old Tin Star over there isn't within an earshot. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I spoke to Winston so I know the gun's empty. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, just, I just wanted to go to the main street and back. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oops. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm in the camp? Wait, what? What? No, I don't want to be in the camp. How? What? Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm slowly mad in this drive. It's possible to die of alcohol withdrawal. Wait, is it possible to die of alcohol withdrawal? <laughs> Sorry, I'm curious. Well, I think I need a drink. The can't speed to get booze. Oh, okay. So it's the same dialogue. Okay, let's uh, get the sheriff to leave. No, get up. Get, get, pff, pff, pff. There, he's gone. <laughs> okay, let's talk to you. Uh, you're Winston's gal. The one that works as a shootist. Uh, Winston doesn't own me. Yeah, that's me. Call me Winston's gal again, I dare you. Uh, let's just be neutral. Ish. Hot dog, always wanted to see your show, but I don't work, and Winston don't give out free tickets. Winston speaks pretty highly of ya. <laughs> I shot him. <laughs> Maybe even more now that you shot thanks. <laughs> That there's a man who doesn't speak highly of many people. Especially after a few drinks. Uh, you drink? You know Winston? You don't know? Ah, uh, let's ask about you knowing Winston. Old war buddies. We were show field scouts together. You want a st war story? And if so, the long one or the short one? Uh, I mean, you know what? Let's, let's go for the long one. Why not? Stay a while, listen. Ha, you better settle in for this one then. I remember one time, son of a bitch was up on the ridge, had us pinned down. We couldn't go around the ravine, hardly enough water to make it through. After hours barely moving, there's a glint up on the ridge, Winston fired and we heard the scream. It was inhuman, though maybe we winged a warg or a blood vulture or something. The scream just got louder and louder, shrill, made my skin crawl. Finally, we get up the courage to crawl out of cover, go over and see what it is. We came up on the ridge and we see it, blood everywhere. I see a man take damn near in half by a shotgun. I see a man hung and then tied to a horse, and the horse ran until his neck just gave way. There were chunks of ragged and ash flesh, and a smell whiskey? Maybe bourbon. 
I said words correct. <laughs> it was the sniper, cut up like he'd fallen in a thrasher, screaming, rolling around, bleeding, and just... We watched him. Winston never said a word. We just watched him roll around screaming until he stopped. Creepy. Neither of us thought to do anything. Put him out of his misery. Help him. We just watched. Don't remember how we put it together. The glint I'd been off the man's bottle. A big stack of glass ones haunting us and drinking all day. Winston's shot has shattered one of the bottles, spraying him with the glass. Alcohol. Maybe he fell into the pile. I'd never seen someone so in pain. I don't think he knew he was alive anymore before he died. Screaming and clawing chunks out of himself. Glass. Skin. Ugh. Then Winston. Winston. He kneels down next to the man once he's real still. Reaches over and pulls a fresh whiskey bottle out of the bloody pile. Looks at me. Dead at the man, or at the dead man, then at the bottle of whiskey and says, Phew, at least they didn't all break. Ha 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 ha, oh, I miss that man. Ba da ba bum, choo. Uh, that really happened? Ha, huh? what about the short one? Uh, let's go, did that happen? Yep. Next time you see Winston, ask him about his old friend Sundown. Okay, ask about the bottle. So you want to know what I'm drinking? It's beer. La gasp! Real alcohol beer. None of that watered-down grape juice everyone in town drinks. Real alcoholic beer. None of that watered-down grape juice everyone in town. Wait, wait. This, this is this is the same thing again, dude. Can I have some? Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? That would be telling. I'm assuming maybe back in the alley. I remember to Winston sometime. I don't know Sundown says hello. Yeah, I will. Okay, let's go to the saloon. Oh! Hey there, gunslinger. I don't normally allow guns in the saloon, but as you can see, only regulars aren't... Or regulars aren't really around yet. Oh my goodness, the... The animation, the artwork. Holy pickles, this game is fantastic. Hello, madame. Let's talk to you. Clearly, she's got a thing for purple. She does. Uh, not a lot of folks can still make smoking look fun. Never been much for showing off garters. She makes it look more classy than trashy. If I dress like that, they run me out of town. Is she half as confident as she puts on? If I dress like that, they'd run me out of town. Okay, so I'm assuming... Yeah, okay, let's talk to her. Coming in to what you were so off that old dusty trail, cowpoke. Uh, what's the point? You don't sell booze. Just moseying around. What do you have? Uh, this one. You don't sell booze. Mm, no, we don't. Tumbleweed is as dry as a gorge, so they say. But you just want a stiff drink. I feel the same way some days. However, temperance rules in tumbleweed. How can we find salvation without clean living? Uh, you religious? What about the smoking? I'd rather be drunk. Uh, first one. Are you religious? Every day but Sunday. You can take up space for a while. Let me know if you want a nice, cool, but soft drink. However, if my regulars start showing up, that gun needs to go somewhere else. Okay. So clearly you don't sell booze. Piano. Uh, my guess is the girl on top likes to sing and doesn't like attention on anyone but her. Wonder how hard a contraption like that is to keep working. It's got a real sturdy feel to it, though. Piano's always way a room down, makes it feel cozy like. Hard to just like any room with a piano in it. Okay, I shouldn't click on everything. Like I said, we'll be here forever if I keep clicking on things and examining them, because there's a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, examine. 
Some men say they want to be left alone with words. Some say it with the slump on their shoulders. Don't think he wants to talk. We'll try anyways. Can't you see I'm trying to enjoy my drink? Oh, look at that. Oh, he's grumpy. He's grumpers. Uh, what are you drinking? A whole glass of Nunya, Nunya business. Ah. Okay, so let's go to the rooms. I would appreciate if you don't disturb my guests unless you're willing to pay, unless you're planning to pay for a room. Uh, how much? I'm not got someone special up there. Ooh. Wouldn't you like to know? However, I don't kiss until- Also occur to me, I do have a whiskey in my inventory. I think we're good? I don't know. I did have a drink. Tumbleweed may be a dry town, but there has to be somewhere that has a real drink. Okay, so I guess that didn't work. Um, oh, 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 there's a ladder. Um, trash can. Oh, we can move it. What? Oh, 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 I see what I did. Okay, so let's pull this. Sorry, I'm gonna have to start. Stop looking at things. It's locked, but I don't have a good reason up there anyways. Okay. Uh, so later on to later on? I can go up there maybe. Uh fire escape leading up to the rooms about the bar. Tempting, but I ain't got a reason to go up there right now. Okay, so um post office town center uh edge of town i feel like i should go back to the camp how do i get to the camp oh i saw it camp i find a real drink or i'm gonna lose my mind yes that's great uh dressing room uh big top no one's in here okay i don't think i can talk to winston Oh, 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 never mind, there he is. Oh, he's all, he's angry. You shot me, Bonnie. It may have been the first time, but it's the last time, slash N. Now I've been punctured in worse spots by better shots. If you don't get infected and I keep it clean, I guess I'll live again. But you're gone. Wait, what? You're fired. Get out. We're packing up and heading out of Tumbleweed tomorrow. Oops. I don't care where you go, but it won't be anywhere with me or my troop. Oops. You're sacked. Fired. You're out. No. Here's what I owe you for your last show. Yes, I'm still paying you. Uh, why? Thank you kindly. It was an accident. It was an accident. I'm so sorry. It was, it was an accident. You were drunk. You always drunk. Just get it. Get. And don't let me catch you around here again. Awkward. Okay. Damn. I'm very curious. Uh, what happens if I... Um, if I don't shoot him? What happens? Damn. Okay. So I need to get a drink. Something like that. Oh, we can go to the general store. Okay, there we go. I don't want the shakes today. I need a drink. Yes, I know you need a drink. Welcome to Crack Barrel. We sell general goods. I did get paid. While we're not against barter, we prefer brass. Standard small arms, 22s are one. Your larger rounds, rifles, and the like are two. And a shotgun shells and sludge are three. We only take packed and sealed brass. Hex shot rounds are worth five, but those are rare. Haven't seen any in over a season. All oh, the artwork in this game is amazing. We weigh brass to make sure they're packed proper. Ain't worth anything if they can't fire. All sales are final. If you have any complaints, you're free to leave. Okay, well, I see rope. Yeah, I can buy it. A rope would be e easy to turn to a lasso. Can I buy it? You want the rope? It will cost you in brass. How much are you thinking? Oh, uh, how much do you have? How much? Two, three, uh, two? Two. 
two bits. How about three? I'm sure. Yeah. Sounds like you got yourself some rope. Okay. Uh, anything else I can buy? Hun, have you checked on the aged cheese today? Ooh, what's this? What's this? Nope. Well, don't you think you should? Nope. <laughs> Yes, but it doesn't turn if it doesn't turn out well. The only way to ruin aging cheese is overchecking on aging cheese, ruining the cave's moisture moisture levels. I'll just check it once later, real quick. Of course, honey. I'll be real quick. I know, hun. So it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be, hun. It'll be fine. Just the shortest peak. Do what you want, hun. It'll be so very quick. Okay, examine this. Uh, sourdough. Warm meat, cheese bread, some grout. Uh, let's buy. Best food you get for almost 50 miles. Just 10 brass for a fresh warm meat sandwich. Uh, 10 is too high. Sounds fair. Uh, sure. We'll just buy at their asking price. This is enough brass, I'm so sorry, but I can't let you go for any less. They're actually pricey to make. Okay, pickles. So we'll have to get some more brass, but... Uh, let's get out of here. See what we can do. Oh, what did I do? No, 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 I didn't mean to. No, no, no. She will put both barrels in each. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to click this. Don't expect back in here. We don't take kindly to people who weigh their piece. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is not going well. This demo's not going well. Can I go back in? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So wait, can I actually get shot? I think I will, but I'm gonna just try. Better don't go in there. They seem pretty serious about shooting me. Ah, oh, damn it! Damn it! I didn't mean to pull up my gun. I did not. Oh, this is going fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, examine? Oh man, drinking pop. Okay, well, I feel like I flubbed up really bad here. Um, in terms of, like, what I need to do in this game. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Because holy pickles, uh, for a demo, we're edging close to, like, a cutoff that I, I should just cut off here. Um, yeah, so I will definitely do a part two of this. Um... Which, I don't know how long that's going to be, but yeah, we'll cut it off here. Um, holy pickles, the the uh, the pixels in this game is fantastic. I, I'm very surprised. I'm also super happy I, I'm trying this demo. Um, if you like the demo and you want to play this game when it comes out, I'll post the Steam page, because you can definitely give it a, a wish list, or I can post the itch.io page if you want to try the demo yourself. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for me. For those people who are first time watching one of my Let's Plays, I am Pasma. I play a variety of point-and-click games, uh, uh, some FMVs here and there, um, and I just got back on Twitch, um, basically because I have a potato and, you know, life's kind of been hectic, so I, I can have a little more flex time-ish with YouTube. That's a ramble. Um, and also, I also... Uh, stream on Twitch when I have time, basically on weekends, aka when husband can take care of the potato for like an hour or two. Um, but yeah, uh, shameless plug. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the demo so far. I think this game is amazing. Um, let me know what you guys think. As usual, shameless plugs. Shameless plugs because it's YouTube. Anywho, enough of me rambling. You guys have a good morning, a good evening, a good night, and I'll see you in the next episode of this. Bye.